He's doing it every day, every seven days a week. We're doing the same thing, seven days a week, tears is there. Tears, we're trying to help a lot of animals in this area. Because it's very painful to see a dog in a short train and then it's tied up there, there's no nothing, food, no nothing, no shelter. And education is the big thing. You see, people, they need to be educated about animals. And we start to the, to, to, to the kids, you see. We start from the kids, because the kids are those ones that like to have puppies. This community's got a lot of, uh, of diseases, like uh, distemper and uh, parvo viruses that we're trying to help them. And education is the big thing. Yes, I'm Sive. I'm working for Tears Animal Rescue. We are in Capricorn, Freyhorn. We're helping animals here yeah, that are very abused and aggressive. Some of the dogs now, they're just in, in a short chains. We're trying to help now to do a, a movement of the dogs, like we're making a running chain for the dogs. Because it's very painful to see a dog in a short chain and then it's tied up there. There's no nothing, food, no nothing, no shelter. But now we are trying to help today to help those animals to have running chains, just for the movement, you see. And this area has got a lot of people that are staying in the backyards. There's no space for the animals. Sometimes you see an animal stays in a, short, uh, a small corner that is very dirty, but now we're trying to help the animals today, you see. Tears, we're trying to help a lot of animals in this area, you see that. So now we're trying to do the, the education for the kids as well, you see. So now we're gonna do the first running chain on this property. There's three dogs here that stays here. And then one of the dogs is jumping to another a property and, and then it started making fight. And then now the owner decided to put a dog on a chain. So we're trying now to make a running chain for that dog. You know, my brother, what are we going to do? Ne? We're going to make a running chain. You already make it, we have a strong pulse there. So we're going to put the a wire here and a wire there. So the dog's gonna have a movement from here to that side like this. You see these chains, you see these ones, they're very heavy also for the dog, you see. And then they can and then we must put at least chain that you you can go inside when it's very hot, you see, the dog can go inside, and then when it's raining also you can, you can go inside the kennel. Sometimes the dog uh, bites the people outside and also the dog um, attempts to bite other dogs so that is why we train our dogs so that um, the dog doesn't harm other dogs or okay. the people outside in our community. Okay, and we understand that and we want to support you and yes. support the community and help the animals so that they have a humane way of being trained. Mm. We know it's very difficult in these times, it's a densely populated area. The, after COVID, a lot of the community members are struggling, so it's very hard for them to spend some money on spending time and money on putting their dogs on long chains and, and running chains, so we were here to assist you. And through our COVID relief fund, we've also come and brought you some food. We know your dogs are sterilized and they were done at tears, and so we're very grateful that you're one of our responsible pet owners. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, thank you for doing this. Now we find two dogs, they are inside the uh, kennels and they were locked inside and then there's a fire next to it there, you see, and then it's very hot. So now we want to do another two running chains for them to have a freedom of movement, you see. So now we're going to start now to give two kennels, bigger kennels for them and then we give some food and then we give some water bottles as well. The owner is here also is going to help us, you see. Now we are another case, we are just facing another case now in Capricorn. This is like a normal day to us. X and uh, Abongile, the guys and me, we're just doing rescue in this area. 
there was a dog fight. So now the, the, the leg is broken, totally broken. And then now I think they want, we're going to go and do the x-rays now at the tears. And then the doctors will check if they want to do the pinning. But it's like a normal day. Dogs, yeah, yeah we need help here. We're using only this fan at the moment now, but hey, we need help because there's a lot of things that are happening. You see uh, dogs getting hurt, short chains, that thing. Tears is trying their best to, to help the community. As I said the first thing, the first time this morning, I was saying about education. This dog fighting and stuff, is, it's not very nice for the animals. And the animals are going through such pain every time. This dog now has been beaten very badly. And there's another one also that we want to fetch, the one that we was fighting with. You see, we want to take that one out also also now you see and then we take the chairs just good, uh, good care and they need medication they need painkillers they need everything you see and the vets they're, they're very busy also at the moment now we bring this now this afternoon also they must attend this one now and tomorrow is the same thing and tomorrow and it's continuing it's just a normal day we're doing it every day every seven day a week we're doing the same thing seven days a week tears is there